जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री राधे सब वैष्णवों को जय श्री कृष्ण दो सौ बावन वैष्णव डे टू वन फोर वार्ता टू वन थ्री एंड कैरिंग ऑन टू डे टू टू वन थ्री टू वन फोर एंड टू वन फाइव Vartha 213 is the story of a couple named Dhani and Dhanyani. The husband left behind his small change purse and picked up a money bag from the market. Bab Prakash. These two are devotees of a rajasi disposition. In the eternal lila their names are Indra the husband and Chakra the wife. They manifest from Sugandhara and are thus personifications of her divine loving sentiment. Part 1. Dhani and Danyani had become disciples of Sri Gosai ji once when he had been travelling in Gujarat. They served their Tagu ji si very lovingly. They had a lady neighbour who used to invite them over but they never went to her house. One day, however, she pressed Danyani to go there. When she entered the house, she saw that she was very wealthy. When she became envious of this wealth, when the neighbour saw this envy, she said, "You serve your Tagu ji, but you do not worship your family goddess. How do you expect to get money?" Danyani told her that they did not have a goddess deity at home so this lady gave her one Danyani placed her in the shelf in the wall at that moment her husband came home he said have you not woken up the lord from his afternoon nap she said i have brought a goddess deity here to be our family goddess there is no paraphernalia for her worship please bring those home for her and i and then i will bathe for seva he agreed he took with him the purse full of loose change from home and went to the grocer's shop to buy the necessary things he asked for the supplies and the shopkeeper gave them to him he was set off taking them with him however he forgot to pick up his purse of loose change but mistakenly picked up the grocer's money bag and went off with it the grocer look for that bag and realize that he did not have it and also realize that it must have been the man who came to get worship articles who took it he ran behind him and saw that he had it on him he took back the bag and pulled dunny to the king's court he told them that there this man was a thief dunny objected saying that he knew nothing about it nor how he had taken the money bag the court decided that he should be paraded around the whole village sitting on a donkey that is what they did to him Then he returned home he gave his wife the stuff for the worship you see all this has come to pass because we took refuge and trusted in this deity over shri takuji one day he brought home a rose and told his wife to offer it first to shri takuji and then give it to the goddess the wife piped up shri takuji alone is the greatest and he is supreme she put attar on some cotton wool and uttered that offered that to shri takuji instead shri takuji was pleased and laughed He laughed because she had come to the realization that his form is alone is supreme and all powerful. The Lord is most merciful in this way. He becomes pleased by the actions of those who are dedicated to him exclusively. When she Takuji laughed, the couple's every residue of disloyalty was dispersed. They gave the goddess that you back to where it came from. They resumed their seva to she Takuji as they had previously always done. Bhav Prakash the moral of this story is that a Vaishnava should not keep close company with those who tread a non-devotional path for their association can divert one's intelligence and one's loyalty to Sri Tagaji gets upset taking shelter in anyone or anything other than the Lord is a huge impediment to one's devotional path thus concludes Varta 213 the story of Dhani and Danyani who were the recipients of Sri Gosai's great grace and accomplished Vaishnavas there is no end to their tale Varta 214 the story of one kshatrani from prayag who gave her tree tagji cotton wool and popcorn <laughs> bhav prakash she is devotee of sattvic disposition in the eternal leela her name is ananti who manifests from gulabi and is thus a personification of her divine loving sentiment she was born to a kshatri in prayag her father was penniless however he somehow managed to marry his daughter to a boy from their own social group her husband had had kept bad health and she had to care for him all the time she worked hard spinning cotton and he lived off whatever she could earn thereby she served him like this for some 50 years and then her husband died some time later shri gosai ji came to adel the kshatrani had come to the triveni sangam to bathe and there she caught sight of shri gosai ji she felt that she should take refuge in him so she approached him saying oh maharaj please accept me into your shelter i have no one left in my life and i am poor and humble please uplift me shri gosai ji was compassionate towards her and after she had bathed initiated with the lord's name and brahma sambhan she t- he told her <coughs> i am giving you one shri takuji to serve serve him with all your love shri takuji will bless you and you will be uplifted shri gosai ji then granted her one shri takuji to serve and taught her all the ways of seva she brought him home and served him most lovingly 
Part 1. She served her Takuji and soon, with the Guru's, Guru's grace, he began to allow her to have his direct experience. She used to spin cotton and he would sit on the cotton wool. He had a mattress and pillows made of that cotton wool and he would pass handfuls of it to her to spin. She fed him with popcorn, which he truly enjoyed. He played around just like a child, enjoying many games, and in this way brought great joy to the Kshatrani. One day, a young, a young lineage holder came to her village and visited her home. He told the old lady to let him have her Sri Takuji so they could play together. She did so. He began to make seva to him, but Sri Takuji would only repeat, cotton, wool and popcorn. The lineage holder said, this Sri Takuji will only ever be happy with when he is with the cotton, wool and popcorn lady. And so he told him back he took him back to her. She began to serve him even more enthusiastically and lovingly and Sri Takaji was forever pleased with her. He asked her for whatever he wanted. Bhav Prakash. This tale tells us that the only thing that Sri Takaji really requires is love. He depends on the devotee who serves him lovingly. Thus concludes Vartha 214, the story of the Kshatrani from Prayag, who was the recipient of Shiv Gosaiji's great grace and an accomplished Vaishnava. There is no end to her tale. And 215 is the story of Dwarka Das, a Gaurav of Kshatriya from Jikhin village, Bab Prakash. He is a devotee of Rajasi disposition. In the eternal Leela, he's one of Sri Krishna's closest cowherd friends, and his name is Gorb. He manifests from Gulabi and is thus a personification of her divine loving sentiment. He was born into a family of Gaurav Kshetris in Jikin village in Braj. From the age of nine, he began to look after cows. He would carry a sword with him when he went to the forest. One day he came to Gopalpur or Jetipura. He caught sight of Shigosaiji. He saw his divine form and decided that he should become his disciple. He supplicated Shigosaiji, O oh, Maharaj! Please accept me into your shelter. Sri Gosaiji recognised that he was a divine soul and initiated him first with the Lord's name and then after he had done a one-day fast with Brahma Sambanda. In front of Srinaji, Srinaji granted to Dwaraka Das his holy sight as the most beautiful enchanter who stirs the mind of the one who stirs the mind of all beings. Manmata Manmata. Dwaraka Das fainted from this vision. After that, he came to have the holy sight of Srinaji every day. Part 1 Dwaraka Das would come to Jetipur of the holy site of Srinaji. He wore his sword when he came in. He would always become totally and blissfully mentally absorbed in the Lord's form. He forgot all about his body. Two people would hold his hands and take him down to the foot of the great Raj mountain, and then only would he regain body awareness and bow down humbly to the Lord. Bhav Prakash, this state of heart is known as Swarupa Sakti, total attachment to the very form of the Lord. When a devotee's Swarupa Sakti is as strong as aforementioned, then their life is complete. Thus concludes Varta 215, the story of Dwarka Das, who received Sri Gosaiji's great grace and was an accomplished Vaishnava, and there is no end to his story. Aj ke anand ki jai ho, jai shi radhi, sa Vaishnava ko jai shi Krishna, Sri Gosaiji ki jai ho, jai jai shi radhi.